Welcome to Mo Whiffs, Mo Highlights. This is your weekly update on games and highlights here at Mo Whiff. If you want to catch the games live, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications. We go live every Thursday night with all of our games where you can catch your favorite players, your favorite teams right here on the YouTube. We also are on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Make sure you go and like and subscribe to all of those platforms. And we hope to have you tune in live each week. Here we are in week number three. The first game of the night was the Mojo versus the Empire. Getting us started off here. So starting on the hill for the Empire is Jimmy Nelson. He came out and closed out a game which the Empire ended up losing in week one. Uh, so he's gonna try and bounce back here in this game. Starting off against Sam Skibby. And Sam Skibby does what Sam Skibby does, leading the game off with a solo home run. He would verse Sam again in this inning with a runner on second and two outs. And this time he's gonna get him to pop up to get out of the inning. Now to the Mojo half, we have Josh Richardson making his first debut here in Mo Whiff. He's gonna start off his debut, striking out Sam Mike and Lob on a great pitch. Jimmy Nelson on 55 and under does get the single. Mike Flores getting a 55 and under pitch, also ripping a hit. So a little trouble here for Richardson. But he's gonna get Josh Rogers to roll over onto one. Possible double play ball just misses. Now we got two away. And Josh is going to get Alex swinging to get out of the jam. So it is top of the second inning now. And Jimmy Nelson in some trouble with two outs here. Oh, great knuckleball gets Richardson looking to get out of the jam. We do jump ahead to the top of the fourth inning where it's one to nothing and he's gonna walk Josh. Josh gonna take the first base instead. Greg is going to walk as well and now they got two runners on with one out for Sam Skibby again. And Josh Rogers decides to double walk Sam Skibby to give up the run instead of facing him in a 55 and under situation making it two nothing mojo. Then with two outs and second and third, Greg Thornton hits one into the outfield for a double that's gonna score two runs, making it four to nothing Mojo. Heading to the bottom of the fourth, now the Empire trying to strike back and Mike is going to lead off the inning with a walk. Josh is going to get struck out on a nasty pitch there. Alex is going to hit one the other way for a single, so the Empire threatening here with two on and one out. It's going to bring up Sam Eichenlob. Nasty pitch gets him swinging. So two outs, two on. Jimmy Nelson trying to extend the game. And a nasty pitch there gets him looking, and the Mojo win four to nothing. Taking a look at the line score, Sam Skibby does hit his third of the year. Greg with the two RBIs his first of the year. Josh Richardson with four innings pitch, nine Ks, only one walk, making him 1-0 with a zero ERA on the season. Jimmy Nelson falls to 0-2. He now has an 8.08 .08 ERA as he throws three innings, three earned runs, nine Ks, and five walks. So that moves us into game number two of the Empire and the Mojo, where every technical difficulty you could have possible happened with the live stream going down and the GoPro overheating. Sam Skibby on the hill for the Mojo in this one. And we are going to piece together what we have, but Sam Skibby looking nasty as always. And this was quite the pitching duel in this game between Sam Skibby and this guy, Sam Eichenlob for the Empire, who was also pitching very, very well throughout this game. But in the bottom of the fourth, Sam Eichenlob does give up the solo shot to Josh Richardson, his first of the year, and it made it one to nothing mojo. 
and it would stay that way all the way until the fifth inning. Sam Skibby's gonna get on as that just gets past Josh at third base. Josh Richardson gonna hit one right back to Sam, all with two outs, first and second. And then this pitch to Greg Thornton. 55 and under and over the center field fence for Greg's first of the year, making it four, nothing. And the game would end due to the time limit with the Mojo winning four to nothing. Sam Eichenlob, a big day at the plate though, going four for six with two doubles. He did pitch four and two thirds, gave up four earned runs and eight strikeouts. Sam Skibby, a great day on the hill, pitching five shutout innings with 11 Ks. The big home runs from Josh Richardson and Greg Thornton, both their first of the year. Moving on to the second series of the night, we had the Bombers versus the Thunderbirds. This should be a great matchup against two captains that played together last year in Andrew Nichols and Cam Smith. Looking to have a little rivalry brewing, Tony Cochran, the second overall pick, starting on the hill for the Thunderbirds. And in typical Tony fashion, he's starting off looking fantastic. But in the top of the first inning against Jake Welnick with one out, and Jake is going to get a hold of that ball, and that is going to be a solo home run, making it one to nothing Bombers. Cam Smith warming up for the Bombers, no real surprise there. As he is the ace of the staff to match up against Tony. And he has a 1-0 lead early, where last year that pretty much meant a Cam Smith win. So Cam Smith does start the game by getting Tony swinging. And, but in the, moving on to the bottom of the second inning, Tony is going to hit one to center field for a nice double. So Cam in a little trouble here. He's got Andrew Nichols batting right after. Hits it the other way. Back-to-back -back doubles is going to tie the game one-to-one. -one and bring up John Willenbrink. And John is going to hit this ball in the air. The Logan's right there to make the catch. Cam is then going to get Dalton Lung swinging. And once again, gets Tony Cochran swing. So he gets out of the jam one to one. We're now into the top of the third inning. And Tony has settled into this game, striking out multiple bombers. Which is going to bring up John here, who's going to hit one hard at Paul, and he just can't quite handle it. Followed by a walk to Tony, who's going to put the double walk on for Andrew, who's going to put one up in the air. And Logan is going to not be able to make the catch. And that's going to be a double because he does keep it in play, but making it three to one. The pitchers are going to duel, but all the way into the top of the fifth inning, he's going to walk Logan to start off the inning, but he's going to get Paul looking. This is the Bombers' last opportunity here against Cam Smith with one out. Big pitch there, gets him two away. And now Jake Welnick is going to walk. They're going to elect for the double walk here in the last inning, tying run on second base, but Nick Bone, a nasty pitch there, and he's gonna go down looking. The Thunderbirds are gonna win three to one. The home run by Jake is his first of the year. Cam Smith does throw four innings, gives up three earned runs, nine Ks, falling to one and two. Tony Cochran now three and zero with a two six nine ERA with a whopping 14 Ks in that game. Three RBIs picked up by Andrew Nichols, which was the difference maker. That takes us to our final game of the night, which was the Bombers versus Thunderbirds game two as the Bombers look to split the series. In this game, Nick Bone making the start for the Bombers. And Nick starts off looking fairly nice as he strikes out a couple of Thunderbird batters but finds himself in a little trouble against Tony Cochran here to load the bases with two outs. And then Andrew is going to go down swinging. So Nick gets out of the jam early. Then pitching for the Thunderbirds is Captain Andrew Nichols, who would love to forget his last start as it did not go as planned, but he looks to bounce back here against his former team, the Bombers. So Andrew's going to start the game by striking out Cam Smith. Jake Wellink's going to hit one right to John. And Nick Bone's going to go down looking the one, two, three inning to start the game. In the top of the second, he's going to walk Tony Cochran. They're going to decide to put him on second for the double walk. And then Andrew's going to shoot one off the bucket for a single, making it first and third with two outs.
That's going to then bring up John Willenbrink, who's going to put one into center field for an RBI double, making it second and third now with two outs, one nothing Thunderbirds. But that's where it's going to stand. And then Andrew in the bottom of the second is going to choose to double walk Cam Smith here. Putting the runner on second with one away. Second and third, I mean. And Jake Welnick, though, is going to go down swinging, making it two outs. But Nick Bone on the 55 and under is going to hit one up the middle and help himself out, tying the game at one to one. But then Logan Trotter is going to pop it up and Andrew's going to make a great play to end the inning. Heading to the top of the third inning now, Andrew Nichols is going to put one up the middle for a single. Followed by a John Willenbrink single up the middle. Dalton Lung works the walk. Now the bases are loaded. Tied one to one. Bases loaded one out for Tony Cochran. He's going to put it into the air. And Jake is not going to be able to make the catch and two runs are gonna score making it three to one Thunderbirds. And this is where things start to fall off the wagon as next batter is a double walk to Andrew, making it four to one. John Willenbrink now with two on, and he is going to hit this to right field, his first of the year, making it seven to one Thunderbirds. So to close out the game, Andrew Nichols is going to strike out Paul. Striking out Cam Smith. And the strikeout on Jake Welnick. So the Thunderbirds are going to win this game seven to one. Tony Cochran picks up two RBIs. Willenbrink has his first home run and four RBIs. Nichols pitches three innings, one earned run, seven Ks. Nick Bone's stat line does not reflect how well he pitched, but he does finish with three innings, six earned runs, and five walks. Not a whole lot of hits on the Bomber side. Nick Bone did pick up the one hit and the RBI for the squad. So now we take a look around the league. Some of these stats are a little skewed by different numbers of games played, but batting average still led by James Chaney. Slugging percentage by Brett Spencer. Home runs, Cam Smith and Sam Skibby both have three. Brett Spencer leading the league in on-base percentage. Runs, Tony Cochran. And RBIs, Tony Cochran. Looking over at the pitching side, Tony Cochran leading the league in innings, strikeouts, and wins. ERA, whip, and average against was determined by pitchers with four or more innings. Sam Skibby, Jordan Smith, and Josh Richardson all have a zero ERA. Whip is led by Jordan Smith. And average against is Jordan Smith, followed by Jimmy Nelson and Ryan O'Rear. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this episode of Mo Whiffs, Mo Highlights. Leave a comment below. Who do you think is going to be the 2022 MVP of the league? Very interested to see what you guys think. So leave it in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and you're subscribing. Turn those notifications on so you know when our games go live every Thursday night, starting at 6 p.m. Central. Make sure you tune in to cheer on your favorite teams, cheer against your favorite rivals, and see all of your favorite players. Make sure you follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and make sure you tune in every week for all of your highlights here on Mo Whiffs, Mo Highlights.